line, the athletes and heels must cross. So how are you feeling about the workout? I think it will be really grippy. The main factor for me will probably be my grip. And you? And then there's like a lot more strategy than last week. You have to pace a bit more now. Okay. Well, let's get warmed up. So for the warm up this week, we're again going to use the row. One, to prep the low back a little bit, and two, get the heart rate up. Here we're adding in Bulgarian split squats. This is one to prepare us for the lunges and also just open up the hip flexors. We're going to go 20 seconds passive hang on the bar, and then 10 basic kips. We're going to go through three rounds of this. The first step with the toaster bar, one of the things we find is that if people aren't going back into full extension with the hip and they're leaving their hip inflection, it tends to blow out the abs and the hip flexors a lot more quickly. The second thing, when you're jumping onto the bar, we want to be jumping to the right position. If you jump onto the bar, have to readjust your hands, you're going to be wasting time on the transitions and that's not something that we want to do. The third thing we're going to look at is with the dumbbells. We've found that it really depends on the athlete and where they're most comfortable. You don't want to waste time putting the dumbbell down when you have to turn around and come back. Pick a comfortable position and use it. The fourth thing we're going to look at is the, the dumbbell clean. Really, see, we're just going to recommend one method, and that's the muscle clean. We're going to touch down just with one of the heads of the dumbbell. We're again going to use more of a hip pin, like a kettlebell swing, take the dumbbell up, hit the right position, come back. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, it was really big. Yeah, really good. Yeah.